We begin this half hour with the crisis at the border. Agents stopped an 18 wheeler carrying 150 migrants this week along the US Mexico border. Now, none of the 150 people needed medical treatment, which is incredible because of the dangerous summer heat. Some communities along the Texas border are overwhelmed by the number of migrants this year. Customs and Border Protection reporting more than 2 million crossings in the last 10 months. ABC's Maria Villarreal reports. This morning, governors in Arizona and Texas sounding the alarm as border communities like Eagle Pass, Texas, are overwhelmed by the record number of migrants. Our cameras capturing several groups crossing the Rio Grande River with young children hoping to request asylum. Apprehensions are expected to hit over 2 million in just one year. So right now, it is an all-out effort by local, state, and federal agencies here on the border. If the numbers stay at this rate, it will be the highest number of illegal crossings since at least 1960. This family is from Venezuela. ¿Qué van a hacer aquí en Estados Unidos? Uh, a trabajar. trabajar. I mean, they're here to work. They don't know anybody here. Many of the migrants will end up at the only shelter in town, Mission Border Hope. On average, they're seeing more than 500 people come through their doors every day. If the numbers increase, I don't know any shelter will have availability for them. In July, nearly 200,000 migrants were processed along the southwest border. Texas and Arizona now busing some of those people to New York and Washington, D.C. We need uh, uh, our fellow Americans to understand how significant, how prolific uh, the challenges that we're dealing with. All of these migrants have been processed by Border Patrol, many asking for asylum through an immigration policy known as Title VIII, which allows them to lawfully live in the U.S. while their cases are pending, regularly reporting to immigration officials to avoid deportation.